This is Martin Fackler for the New York Times. I'm the Tokyo Bureau Chief. Japan suffered its largest earthquake on historical record today. An 8.8 magnitude earthquake hit off the northern coast. The quake itself did damage, but even more devastating was the tsunami that the quake unleashed. In some places, there were news reports of a wave more than 25 feet high that swept through entire towns, bulldozing through buildings, and sweeping over cars as they were driving down a highway. The areas that were hit, many of them are very remote, and at this time, it looks like there are at least 200, probably many more deaths, hundreds more missing. Entire swaths of northern Japan are now without power up near where the earthquake hit. The largest city in that area is a city called Sendai. The airport there was hit by the tsunami. The runway was covered with water and the airport terminal was cut off. And inside of it, uh, more than a thousand travelers were stranded. One of the most disturbing news reports we've had is of a nuclear power plant in northern Japan where the cooling system has failed. And this has prompted the government to declare a nuclear emergency. People have been evacuated from within a two-mile radius of the plant, and people further out are being advised to stay indoors. 